at the Find F 2025 exhibition in Madrid, held from May 13th to 15th. 2025, Saab unveiled its T7 Next Generation Digital Training Architecture, a groundbreaking system designed to transform fighter pilot training. In an exclusive interview with the Army Recognition Team, Saab Representative Ingemar Carlson highlighted the T7's role as a comprehensive pilot training ecosystem developed in collaboration with Boeing. Known as the T-7A Red Hawk for the U.S. Air Force, this platform integrates advanced digital flexibility, cost-efficient design, and a holistic training approach to prepare pilots for modern combat aircraft, including fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 and F-35, as well as platforms like the Eurofighter Typhoon. The T-7 stands out as a fully integrated training system rather than a standalone aircraft addressing the growing need for platforms that bridge the gap between basic flight training and the complexities of operating advanced fighter jets. Saab's approach combines airborne and ground-based elements to create a unified training pathway. The system includes the T-7 aircraft, a ground-based training system with high-fidelity simulators, embedded training capabilities, digital mission debriefing tools, and integrated logistic support. This holistic ecosystem ensures continuity between ground instruction and live flying, offering a seamless and consistent training experience. By incorporating live, virtual, and constructive training scenarios, the T-7 enables pilots to practice realistic mission profiles, including electronic warfare, radar operations, and weapons handling, in both simulated and real-world environments. A cornerstone of the T7's innovation is its digital architecture, which allows reprogramming through software updates without costly hardware modifications. This software-defined approach enables the system to simulate various fighter aircraft configurations, such as the Eurofighter or F-22, tailoring training to specific operational fleets. For example, Air Forces can adjust the T-7's avionics and flight dynamics to mirror their frontline aircraft, eliminating the need for multiple trainer types. The Open Systems architecture further supports rapid integration of new technologies, ensuring the platform remains adaptable to evolving mission requirements and technological advancements. As Ingemar Carlsen emphasized, this digital flexibility positions the T-7 as a future-proof solution capable of supporting Air Forces for decades. The T-7's design prioritizes cost efficiency and operational practicality, addressing budgetary constraints faced by many Air Forces. Its modular components and streamlined maintenance processes significantly reduce life cycle costs compared to legacy trainers like the T-38 Talon. Features such as quick-access avionics racks and a side-opening canopy enhance maintainability, minimizing downtime and logistical complexity. The aircraft's support structure is engineered to reduce its logistical footprint while maximizing availability, making it an attractive option for nations seeking sustainable training solutions. Saab's focus on cost efficiency extends to the system's scalability allowing Air Forces to customize the T-7 to their specific needs without incurring excessive expenses. In terms of flight performance, the T-7 is powered by a General Electric F404 GE-103 afterburning turbofan engine, achieving a maximum speed of Mach 0.975 and supporting high agility maneuvers with a 30 degrees angle of attack. Its fly-by-wire controls, equipped with auto trim, G-limiting, and angle of attack limiters, enable safe execution of high G maneuvers, up to eight Gs, and complex flight profiles. The tandem seating configuration ensures unobstructed visibility for both student and instructor, enhancing safety and training effectiveness. The cockpit itself is a technological marvel, featuring digital glass displays, touch screens, heads-up displays, and synthetic vision systems that replicate the interfaces of fifth-generation fighters. This modern, ergonomic design familiarizes pilots with the advanced avionics they will encounter in operational aircraft, easing the transition to combat roles. The T-7's ground-based training components are equally impressive. The GBTS includes simulators with dynamic motion seats, 
8K native projectors offering unparalleled visual clarity and LVC capabilities that create immersive training environments. These simulators allow pilots to rehearse complex scenarios, from dogfights to electronic warfare, in a controlled setting, reducing the need for expensive flight hours on operational aircraft. The embedded training capabilities onboard the T-7 further enhance its versatility, enabling pilots to practice mission-critical skills directly in the aircraft. Digital mission debriefing systems provide detailed feedback, helping instructors refine training methodologies and improve pilot performance. This integrated approach ensures that every aspect of the training process is optimized for efficiency and effectiveness. Saab's collaboration with Boeing has been instrumental in the T-7's development. Initiated under a 2013 joint development agreement, the partnership leverages Boeing's expertise in aircraft production and Saab's proficiency in systems integration and aft fuselage manufacturing. In September 2018, the U.S. Air Force selected the T-7A for its TX program awarding Boeing a $9.2 billion contract for 351 aircraft and 46 simulators. Deliveries began in 2023, with testing ongoing at Edwards Air Force Base as of November 2023. Saab's production facility in Linköping, Sweden, delivered five aft fuselages for the engineering and manufacturing development phase, with future production shifting to a new site in West Lafayette, Indiana. This collaboration underscores the T-7's global potential, with Boeing targeting over 2,700 sales worldwide to nations like Serbia, Australia, and Brazil. Variants like the F-7 light attack platform and naval trainers further expand its market appeal. The T-7's introduction at Find F-2025 underscores Saab's commitment to redefining fighter pilot training standards. By addressing operational, technical, and budgetary needs, the platform offers a technologically robust and sustainable solution for next-generation air crews. Its modularity and scalability make it adaptable to diverse defense ecosystems, from established air forces to emerging ones. The system's ability to evolve with changing operational requirements ensures long-term relevance, while its cost-efficient design aligns with the fiscal realities of modern military budgets. As air forces worldwide seek to prepare pilots for the complexities of fifth-generation warfare, the T-7 stands as a transformative platform poised to shape the future of military aviation training. In conclusion, Saab's T-7 next-generation digital training architecture represents a paradigm shift in fighter pilot training. Its digital flexibility, integrated ecosystem, and cost-efficient design address the challenges of preparing pilots for modern combat environments. By combining advanced technology with practical solutions, the T-7 offers Air Forces a versatile and sustainable training platform. As demonstrated at Find F 2025, Saab's vision for the T-7 extends beyond a single aircraft, delivering a comprehensive system that empowers air crews to meet the demands of current and future battlefields. With its global potential and forward-looking approach, the T-7 is set to become a cornerstone of military aviation training for decades to come.